Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we'll take a look at another example of how we can factor a quadratic equation using the box and diamond method. Now we have our quadratic equation of y equals 2x squared plus x minus 15. And we want to factor that so that we end up with that same equation just rewritten in factored or product form. That process of changing from a sum to a product is called factoring, and we're gonna use the box and diamond method to help us out. Now the first step when factoring a quadratic is that we're gonna take the x squared term and place that in the bottom left corner of our generic rectangle. So 2x squared goes right there. What goes in the upper right corner is our constant term, or our term that has no x value. In this case, our constant term is negative 15. So I'm gonna write negative 15 right there in the top right corner. I then take those two pieces that create this diagonal and I multiply them. I multiply them together so that I can create the top part of my diamond problem. Well, 2x squared times negative 15 creates negative 30x squared. Now the reason why we do that is because we have one more term left here that we have not dealt with, and that is a plus x. That means we have one x there, and we need to come up with two numbers here that will go in the empty spaces of our generic rectangle that when added are going to create one x. But those two numbers also have to multiply and create negative 30x squared. So now's the part where we have to think about some factors of negative 30 that are going to multiply and create negative 30, but also add to 1x. Now I can give you a little hint here. Since this is a negative number and I know I'm multiplying these two numbers together, that means that one of these numbers has to be negative. So let's start going through and thinking of some factors that make negative 30. Well, one that jumps to mind for me is 15x and 2x. That definitely multiplies to negative 30, but that does not add to 1x. 15x take away 2x's would leave 13x's. So I do not want to use those two numbers there. As I think through some other factors, you might be thinking of 10x and negative 3x. Again, 10x and negative 3x multiply to make negative 30x squared, but 10x plus negative 3x, we end up with 7x's, not the single x that we're looking for. So I know those factors also don't work. So then I get to the next set of factors for negative 30, and I think what we're gonna come up with is negative 7x, I'm sorry, 6x, and negative 5x. And let's think about that. 6x times 5x, negative 5x, makes negative 30x squared. 6x minus 5x does leave us with a single x variable. Those are the two numbers that we want to now put into our generic rectangle for those remaining boxes. And now we have a complete generic rectangle where now we just have to find the sides or the dimensions for that rectangle. So let's go ahead and do that. 2x squared. Well, I know that 2x and x both multiply to make 2x squared. But look what happened here. I wrote a 2x here, and I need to multiply 2x by something to get negative 5. Now, when we're doing generic rectangles, we usually want to have whole numbers here. And if I'm trying to think of a number that I multiply by 2 to get negative 5, I think this number might end up being a decimal. So what I want to do then is instead of having it written that way, I think I'll swap that 2x and the x because now I know x times negative 5 will create negative 5x and 2x times 3 will create my 6x. Always double check that you're setting that up correctly because you don't want to have decimals when we're making our factoring problem. Now that I have the dimensions on the side of that rectangle, I see what my factored form is. My factored form is 2x minus 5 times the quantity x plus 3. And that right there is what we call our factored form 
or our quadratic written in a product form. Again, we started off with our equation written as a sum. We changed that sum to a product by factoring using the box and diamond method. It's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.